Hello, I'm Art. And Janelle. From Parsnips and Parsimony. And we're going to do episode four of Friday Food Finds from Fans. And for the recipe roulette, we have John's football game. And John's the drawer today. Ooh, what is it going to be? Let's Go ahead, okay, draw. Fun. What does he get this exciting? Okay. Billionaires, Franks and Beans. Yay! What is that? I wanted to make that one. It's it's like Dr. Dog hot dogs and beans. You guys are gonna love them. Okay, let's go cook it. Let's do it. The recipe today is billionaires, Frank and Beans. Does that sound good, Gracie? Yeah. And it's from Allison in Massachusetts. Allison is the one who came up with the name. Friday food finds from fans. Yeah. So thank you, Allison. All right, I have everybody with their stations because we're, as usual, rushing around trying to get this made for our dinner tonight. Look, it's the so honey. John and Peter are going to open yeah. up the packages of hot dogs right now. Just a second, and then we're going to score the hot dogs. And you, do you know what it means to score? No. Touchdown? No. Not touchdown. <laughs> touchdown. You're going to take your knife and you're just going to put a slight cut all the way down it. And you're going to, okay? Do you think you slice them? And then we're going to slice them. The two little girls are going to open our cans of white kidney beans. And remember, we're going to be doubling this recipe for the size of our family. Normally, you'd be only using two packages of, or two cans of beans and two, one package of hot dogs. Charity's going to be doing our celery right now, and Lydia's going to open up our other two cans of beans. And while they're doing that, I'm going to start getting the oven or the stove top ready to cook up some onions, the celery, some jalapeno pepper. I actually called for a poblano pepper, but I'm not, I don't have a poblano pepper, and I have lots of jalapeno peppers that were frozen in my freezer. So I'm just going to use those instead. And we're gonna get this going real speedy. Okay, guys, go ahead. Start your test. Mama. Do you need help? Yeah. Okay, Can Daddy's gonna help. Careful, don't cut yourselves. Okay, yes, Mom. Ugh. Hang up the hot dogs, too. Okay. Do you need help, too, Mary? Okay, I'll be there in just a minute. It's a two, here, two handed job for little girls. Hang on, good boys. Mm -hmm. Let Mommy show you how to do it. Put your knife in a little bit. And then just a tiny it. little cut. And How you know about what this, this was is? This good. Mm, that one's not too bad. Tiny little cut. And do you know why we're doing this? To make the wa water to go out. No, we're doing or this the water so to go in. The hot dogs won't curl when we finger. put it in okay, I have our bean franks okay. and beans. Okay. And once you've done that to all your hot dogs, we're gonna cut them into half inch slices. Okay. Oh, do you need help? Okay, I'll help you. Uh, yeah, squeeze this like. There we go. There we and go. Turn that. We try two hands to turn that. You know, it's hard for little girls to turn. 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 Oh. turn there you go. While they're doing that, I'm gonna start putting the butter in my pan. Get that melting. And now I'm gonna get my onion. I'm not using fresh onion. I'm just using frozen dice, which makes this so simple and easy to just toss right together. And I think a whole medium-sized onion is right around a half a cup. I'm going to be using approximately a whole cup of frozen diced onions. Throw that in there. Charity has done a great job dicing all of the celery. Some hot peppers. Oh. I don't know. This is going to be spicy, so we don't want to add too many jalapenos. Oh, you can never have too many. Sorry. <laughs> For the kids, you can have too many. Yeah. The last thing I'm going to add is some cayenne pepper, and they're saying to use fresh. I don't have fresh, but this is some pretty strong dried stuff. They're saying two tablespoons. I know that's going to be way too hot and spicy for us, so I'm just going to dump a little bit in. Mom, are these pieces good? That's probably good. Can you help me get some more ingredients? Sir. Okay, we need some ketchup and mustard in the fridge. No, that's about a half inch. You see it? That's okay. Oh, Mary found the ketchup. Oh, Grace found the bowl. Oh, there's the mustard right, right there. Okay. Oh, we gotta close the door. Can I get that ketchup? Save the electricity. We finished cutting up the things. Now we gotta wash our hands. 
I feel icky. Half a cup. Okay. Half a cup of ketchup. Oh, um, you're supposed to use liquid. No, That's okay. Well, no, you can measure the dry into that. But, you know, not for the ketchup. You don't use dry. Yeah. Oh, well, Let's guess see. what? We're putting it in the wet measure one. Let's see. Uh, half. There it is. Need a little more. This is just a hive of activity in this house right now. How much brown sugar? We need two tablespoons of brown sugar. Two tablespoons. No, wait, 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 wait. What are we pouring it into? Just mix the ketchup and the brown sugar together. Whoa, you dumb. Wipe it up. Fine voices, please. Mix the brown sugar in. Okay, we need to add to that. Two tablespoons of mustard. You do the mustard. Oh, no. Nope. The substance has been mixed. Okay. Good job, Mary. They figured out a way to do it uh, together. If you eat it raw. How about I hold the bowl, Mary mixes. That's right. Good job. You work to you working together makes people okay. happier. Um, John, the best way to do this is to pour it over the container. Okay. Can you bring it over here, please? Careful. Am I over it? Yeah. Okay. Good. Maybe a little extra. It won't hurt. A little tiny bit like that won't hurt. Okay, mix it up, girls. We're going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. There's the salt. A little bit of pepper. Woo! We'll start with this and then we can always add more later. Can I stir it? Can I stir it, Mom? Go ahead. Now we're going to add the hot dogs. Stop, John, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. I cut up those hot dogs. Oh, yeah. Katie's got the other plate. Can I help roll them in? I, I'll help you up because okay. my hands are already dirty. Okay. I cut up those hot dogs. Okay, hey, Mary, Mommy needs it. We're going to throw it in with the hot dogs now. Mommy. So the hot dogs taste yummy. There, got it. Yeah. there we go. Whee! Oh, Here. it's stuck. There we go. <laughs> we got a stuck cooker. All right, step back, Pete. In it goes. I'm going to waste any of this good stuff. We're going to add our water to this and kind of help rinse out our container. We won't get all of it, but it's better than nothing. We're going to add a total of five cups of water. And actually, it's supposed to be chicken broth. I'm going to be adding chicken bouillon powder, so that's why I'm just using the water now. And now I'm going to add the broth or the powder. Just dump it right in like this because we don't want it all over the stove. John, can I stir? Sure, you can take this stirring spoon. You know, I was debating whether I should have used the bigger pot or the littler pot, but... Looks like we should use the bigger one. Okay, we're going to add three cans of beans. One, three. And there is a fourth, but Charity consolidated it in. <laughs> so there, it's actually four cans there. Yeah, we're pretty full. Since the pot was so full of water, well, she, Mommy took over the mixing. Yeah. And so now, now Mommy's going to cover grace. it and let it cook for about a half hour. All right, maybe we can get Charity to make some cornbread. Yeah, cornbread. Does that cool. sound good? I love making cornbread. And then we'll have, then we'll do a fresh salad with it and we'll call it dinner. We're going to check it, Whoa. see if it's done. Whoa, it got big. <laughs> I didn't know. Wow. I didn't know hot dogs could do that. Did you? They did. No. They pump when you cook them. Cool. Which one hot? Which hot dog? They all got fat. <laughs> do you want to see Grace? What do you think, Grace? Yummy. The last part, it says you have to kind of squish some of the beans um, to make it more thick. So I'm going to give you over to her and I'm going to squish some of these beans. You're going to squish them? I'm trying. I'm trying not to squish the hot dogs. How do you differentiate between the two? Well, I'm trying to push the I'm trying to push the hot dogs off to the side and I'm just squish them. This is what it looks like when it's done. It's a little bit more watery than I thought it would be, but it still looks like it's gonna taste good. It smells really good. Uh, yeah. Somebody's ready. Mary's eager. Along with the frank and beans, we have some salad, some grapes, and some cornbread that Charity made. Well, I think Gracie wants some. I think so. Oops. Oh, it fell right back in. Okay? That's good for right now. Thank you. John, what did you think of the uh, billionaire's frank and beans? 
I thought it was really good. About four point nine 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 nine. Okay, you liked it. What did you think of it, Lydia? It was interesting. It was interesting. Are you gonna have seconds? No. And Peter, what did you think? It was twenty toes and fingers up. Okay, guess it was pretty good then. I guess so. Hey, Charity, what did you think? Mm, it was good. Are you gonna have seconds? I already did. Oh, oh, oh that was been really good. Can I have seconds? All right, we can get you some seconds here. I, I think my like only that. complaint is it's a little on the watery side. Uh, I think mm -hmm. we need to cut. Watch the thing; it might tip everywhere. There we go. I think she. I don't think the she really. Bread. She liked the hot dog portion of the yeah. Franken beans, but. Not the beans. Tracy, what did you think of the food? She mm. liked the Frank part too. She liked the Frank part, not so much the beans. And Daddy. It was very good. Um, it was, again, a little watery, but the cornbread helped soak up the water. It was still good, but it just, we should have had it in bowls and not plates. Because I, uh, well. He's filled. I did have a little mess there. Oops. And what did Mommy think of the billionaire Frank and beans? It was okay. It, it wasn't my. It wasn't my favorite. It wasn't bad. Um, it's not what I'm used to, but definitely edible. I think the cornbread made it very, very tasty. And like Art said, it helps soak up all the juices. So it'll probably be in the make again book. Not a off, make it often, but I will make it again. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we post our Friday food finds from fans yeah. as well as our daily vlog and videos about finances and how to save money on a, with a large family. And we would love some more recipes to put into our collection of recipe roulette. So please be sure to send your favorite recipe to the add to the PO box listed in the description below. Give it a thumbs up if you like this. Make sure you comment and tell me what your experiences with Frank and Beans and also make sure you share this with your friends if you're looking for the printable version of this recipe I will put a link in the description below where you can find that as always thanks so much for watching and we will see you for our next episode of Friday Food Finds from Fans